is Isabel here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell, we are going to be doing another reactionary video to an iGenius top leader, which I've actually already covered before, but I would like to circle back on some things. An iGenius top leader named Lily Zaremba. We already went through a lot of stuff in regards to her before. I'll have a video pop up over here. But nonetheless, though, I'm very fascinated with some of these iGenius top leaders. I feel like they very good representation of massive scammers, in my opinion, in this industry. And so today we're going to be going over a training that I was actually sent and I would love to dive in with you. So that's what we're going to be doing. So for half of today's video, though, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below so that you'll be notified of every single video I post. And now without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go. Guys, I would love to bring this to attention. I actually had somebody send this to me, and it is a audio recording of the individual that we're going to be listening to today. I want, I want us to all listen to this. This is from a training. This is from some hidden shit, right? I don't know, like, what, 11 months left of the year? I have it for 15 months, y'all. Your next 11 months is really going to be determined by what's happening in the beginning of this. The beginning of this. And if you guys don't have an April event talking about her from your end, you fucked up. I hope you know that. You really fucked up. You have not pushed yourself enough. That you are unable to create somebody. Create someone to be a success story by then. There's more than enough time. Stop fucking working on the same goddamn people, y'all. You understand this? Recruit. Stop working on the same goddamn people. She's losing her shit on a team right now. She is not a good person in my eyes if she's yelling at people to stop working on their team and continuously getting other people and yelling at them, mind you. I'm sorry, but that is so gross. Absolutely not. Nasty ass. Recruit until you find the best fruit. Recruit, recruit until you find the best. Are you, wow. So many guys are literally hanging on by fucking the same thread over and over and over again. Find you blood. Find new blood, huh? Wow, this is the top leader, y'all. This is the top leader, Lily Zaremba, here going on. Lily, do you have anything to say to the class? No, that's what I fucking thought. Anytime I've ever experienced stagnant or there's not this going on this time, I'm like, you know what? I'm not getting the energy that I want. Whatever the people want to figure out, who, but I need to find more. I need to find better people. I'm not going to make this excuse and be in management mode. Fuck nobody here should be in management mode. Nobody here is in management mode. I can't even be in management mode. So what makes y'all think any of you guys should be in management mode? Managing the team? As soon as you think for one second that managing the team is working on the business, you are fucking wrong. Wrong. You're not doing any off calls. You're not doing any 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 training calls. You're not you're not you're not calling people on your team individually. You're not you're not you're not doing those things. You're missing it. You're missing it. You're completely missing it. You're missing the point. All of you guys need a brand new generation here. Brand new wave of people here. You all need to go out and recruit for here. If you don't like the way your team is right now, go fucking find your people. Fucking find new people. The fact that she is yelling at people right now over this. This is who we're dealing with right now. This is not the sweet Lily that goes on Instagram and is all, oh my God, I care for everyone. I want you to succeed. This is the reality of these people. This is what was anonymously sent to me by somebody recently. This is not fucking okay. This is disgusting that this is an actual audio and a normal thing that people are probably hearing. Find better people. Go find people that are, that are hungrier. I can see the brand new upcoming leaders that are coming up in GCM. It's brand new people. It is the brand new people. They have the better energy. They have this because they're fresh. They're fresh. So don't be working with the same exact people. So the better people are the fresh ones. Oh, Lily, so you mean the naive ones that don't know everything, that are excited, 
and they haven't been fully fucked over by you and other people. Is that what I'm getting at? Because the brand of people that don't fully know or haven't been through all the trauma, like traumatic experiences that probably these I genius leaders will put upon people, they haven't gotten that yet. So they're excited. They're excited for the new business and they see what you post online and they get hyped that that could be them. But that's not true. So instead, just ignore the people that are struggling and just move on to the next. Expecting and expecting and expecting and waiting and waiting and waiting because you'll be waiting forever. You'll be waiting for absolutely fucking forever for them to figure it out. Meanwhile, listen, the ones who want to figure it out will figure it out when they see you running. Not when, when they just see you waiting. I'm just amazed that she actually is that comfortable with talking about her downlines, even though she makes the most money off of them. Love that. So you want to talk shit and talk down on the people that provide you with your paycheck. You want to act then randomly and publicly. Oh, it's fine. I love you guys. No, you do not. I know that. No real leader. No real fucking leader. Looks at their leader and looks at the things that they're doing in the team and what they're doing in their team and just sits by and goes like, no real leader does that. They get challenged. And they want to go more. And those that don't, then you know. You saved yourself time. You saved yourself time. That's it. <clears throat> okay? That's it. So that was it again, like I said. So I'm, again, this is who we're dealing with, y'all. I know that we witness different types of trainings with these individuals, but we experience different levels. We experience the lighter, and sometimes when she's talking and it's motivational and it's fine, and maybe she's happier when things are benefiting her. But then when it comes to other people where her success and her money is on the line, she's probably gonna display the actions that we just witnessed. So, so that was it again, like I said. So I'm, again, this is who we're dealing with, y'all. I'm gonna be actually watching a Monday motivational training that was sent to me. I believe this is a little bit of an older training. I do actually have other trainings that are, you guys are gonna be able to watch or you can previously watch. So let's actually get to watching. I How are y'all feeling? How are you guys feeling? How are you ladies feeling? How are my alphas feeling today? It is Monday. Drop it in the chat, okay? I wanna see some of the energy. <laughs> I, I haven't eaten anything, you guys. I haven't dr drinking anything. Um, fasting, so I'm, I'm giving you guys my all here, okay? So I hope you guys are feeling good, as good as me, okay? We know Mondays is always, always a phenomenal start to the week, okay? It is the setting stone for you, all right? So if you know me or you do not know me, well, my name is Lily Zaremba, okay? I've been a part of this company for the past two and a half years, and it's been a second since I've been on here training the DC Alphas, but it's safe to say, that woman absolutely rocked the world, okay? We absolutely rock it. There is no other, okay? No other person right now other than women that are killing it in our industry right now, okay? We're the bosses. Okay, we're the alphas of this, right? The guys are the betas of this pretty much, <laughs> okay? But listen, this business, this business is the most rewarding thing that you can ever have, but are there tough times? 100%. Now, one of the prayers, I wanna start this off with a prayer, you guys. This is more of, more of a chant, okay? A chant that is dear to my heart and that I hope is dear to you, okay? every single day in my darkest periods of my life because there are some pretty dark po points in my life into this business that i didn't know how i was going to get out of it but speaking aloud this saying this chant okay it helped me okay it got me out of the gutter it it reignited me and it and it carried me up until i could get out until i could get out of that point so i want you to listen to this and i want you to remember this chant for yourself Okay, I'm gonna scream here. <clears throat> Living, caring, giving, sharing. Boy, oh boy, I like to work with the daring. A magic million, can you imagine such? Of course you can, we've got the touch. I'm small in stature only, but I'm heavy in belief. I'm leading by example, so you can count on me as I flash this. Hi, um, let's not yell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, I literally can never get on board with some of these top leaders that think yelling equates to knowledge. It does not. I don't know why. And what bothers me so much is like, this is like a consistent thing for them. Like they will yell 
all the fucking time at people. And I'm just like, imagine listening to this on a Monday morning. Like, I would want actual Monday motivation. Like, don't yell. You can literally say that chance if you would like or talk about this and be like, oh my gosh, this is our affirmations. Like, say, like, just speak. Yes, million dollar smile. The world will know it's all worthwhile because I'm banking on the magic, banking on success, banking on some people who simply want the best. I'm proud to be before you. I'm proud to be the leader of leaders. I'm proud to be top rank. I'm the leader of leaders. My name is Lily Zaremba. This is what I want you to remember and live by every single day. Whether it is this chant, whether it is something else, you wake up with something powerful in you every single day, okay? because you need to say it. What you speak, your words, your words and what you speak, they can either be flowers or they can be bricks. What is a flower? A flower blooms, a flower is prosperous, a flower grows you, a flower is beautiful. So are the words that you are speaking, are they powerful? Are they beautiful? And do they serve you and do they grow you? Or are they words that are hard and heavy like a brick and do they hurt you? So make sure that the words that you say to yourself every single day, that they are words that serve you, okay? Now listen, every single one of you ladies, you can become a leader today. And it doesn't matter how new, how old you are into this, how how old you are into this, how disbelieved you are into yourself, but every single one of you have the capabilities of being a leader of you today and you decide that for your day, for yourself today. Are you gonna lead yourself? Are you gonna lead your future? Are you gonna lead by example? Are you gonna lead with a mission here? Are you gonna lead with purpose? Now, every single one here, we have lips, right? I know this doesn't make sense, but we have lips. Now, what is lips? Well, listen, I want you to remember this. Leadership comes with impact, which leads to purpose, which leads to success, lips. Okay, we've got that for ourselves. And when you decide for yourself today that you are going to start leading yourself, that you're going to start leading your future, that you're going to start leading the life of your dreams here, everything changes. So decide that for yourself today. Become that leader for yourself. Become the future version of yourself today. So law of priorities here. Because all of us have priorities here. I understand. We all come into this. And whether you want to go all in fully into this business, or you can only put in half of yourself into this business, or or part-time, whatever it is, prioritization is important. What's easy to do is hard to live by. I need you to remember that. So being broke at one point in my life was hard, right? Not being able to spend the time with my family was hard. Not being able to go on vacation when my friends were going during the summer was hard because I was stuck at work. So choose your hard is what I'm saying. There's a lot of hards out there in life, but choose your hard. Talk about this. The conversation and the discussion about choosing your hard, that's actually funny enough, that's actually something I personally live by because I actually remember, um, I know I loved creating content. And fun fact, I remember I lived um, on my university for one semester. Yeah, it was one semester. And after that, I decided because it'd be cheaper for me and because the college life personally was not for me in regards to like drinking and like fucking around and all that. Like full respect to anyone who wants to do that. That just wasn't, that wasn't my vibe. I wanted to create. And I, I literally picked filming one night, then going out. That's what I liked. That was me. And I just, I remember I, um, I was on campus for a little bit and then I made the decision on once after one semester, I was going to transfer everything virtually and I was going to live back with my parents. That was hard. Um, but I realized putting effort into doing what I loved was going to set me up to be able to do what I love forever. And I'm very thankful because I'm here to this day. Like I'm, I'm here still to this day doing it. And I remember like I would edit, I would sit in a library and edit. Like I would choose these harder things. I maybe I didn't have a nice car or like I would make these sacrifices to make my life easier in the future. And I'm still doing that to this day where I am choosing certain things over this because I know what it's going to do for me. And I'm even experiencing the benefits that my 18 year old self chose. And that is a great thing to live by. I feel like is pick your heart. 
um, sometimes you do have to make sacrifices to hit some clients that you want to. Again, this is very depending on certain situations. <laughs> Trust me, I'm only sharing my experience of pick my heart. You know what I mean? Because I was like, either I give up these nights of fun to have these other better nights of fun, or I have these nights of fun and I don't get these better nights of fun. You know what I mean? So absolutely. But in regards to this situation, that is not the case because picking your hard right now for them is, well, you need to suck it up and keep recruiting. You need to suck it up and keep doing this. Like, come on now. And especially because this is a recent audio that I listened to at the very beginning before we're reacting to this. And she was losing it about people not recruiting or not getting fresh blood or whatever. Picking your heart is not as easy as what she's elaborating. The picking your heart is picking the shitty things that are not going to help you reap benefits, but it's going to help people like her reap the benefits. That's the issue. Hard. And do the hard thing first. Do the hard things first before you do the easy things first. You know what's easy? What's easy is saying, you starting into this business, that this is too complicated. You seeing that. I can't understand trading today, or I don't have the patience for investing. What's easy is giving up. What's easy is not seeing something through. What's hard is sticking by it, right? Being patient. Understand that trading takes time. Understand that you getting into this whole market, into this whole industry, that it's going to be difficult at the beginning. We are all coming from a place of, of an employee mindset. When you first start into this business, understand that, right? Every single one of us at one point, even myself, I was an employee at one point, but everybody has to shift their mindset when they first start into this, because a lot of people are working with an employee mindset where they see themselves getting paid by the hour. This is different here. What we do, what we work for is not getting paid by the hour here. What we work for as entrepreneurs, and this is why entrepreneurs get paid the most, okay, is that we put the daily work in every single day for a pending check. So I knew when I started this business, I wasn't seeing the money right away, right? I was doing the work, I was learning, but I wasn't seeing it right away. But I knew that the money was there. I had a pending check. I had a pending check here. And I know in my head right now, I have a pending check of a million dollars. It's like a trust fund. You know what a trust fund is? It unlocks when you meet the requirements, right? What is a typical trust fund? You know, 18 years old, you hit it or whatever, you get a degree and boom, okay. You get the trust fund, you unlock the money. Imagine you have a trust fund here. You have a trust fund of a million plus dollars and you decide that you're not willing to meet the requirements for it. Yeah, that's bullshit, Lily. Hell no. The concept of comparing network marketing to a trust fund, the money is guaranteed. You're going to get that shit if you do basic things. You can do all the things and more and not get paid properly or if anything, lose money still with iGenius. Like, isn't it ironic that we catch Lily losing her shit on people for not recruiting enough? which we know, I know damn well it's about her paycheck and everything that it has got to be because why would she be so pissed off at other people for not recruiting? Like you have you have this much audacity to be doing all this. Like, oh my God, this is gross. This is not good leadership. Don't give it up. Don't give up before that point, right? Give yourself the time that it needs to shift from being an employee mindset to an entrepreneur mindset here an entrepreneur mindset of you putting the work in right now and not seeing the results that you want right away, but trust that those results will come, right? Because whatever you do now typically shows 90 days from now, the results, right? So as a leader, you always have to prioritize, even if it is just you starting off, okay? And I say leaders because every single lady here, 117 of you ladies on here on this call are leaders in my eyes. And you need to believe that into yourself, that you need to believe that you are 110% a leader, okay? So even if it's just you, or you have a team of one, two, three, whatever it is, a team of five, a team of 10, uh, uh, whether it's a small team or an army, you prioritize here. So what it is that you're prioritizing? Number one, activity okay activity what is the activity that you're doing every single day and understand that being busy does not equal productivity right yeah 
because there's many times that I'm like, I'm so busy today. I like, how can I, how can I put the time into this business? I've got this going on and this and this and this and this and this. Is it equaling productivity? Ask yourself that if it is, and you got to be real with yourself here. Don't, don't fake yourself here, right? Face the truth. Number two, prioritizing requires you to think ahead. Okay. It requires you to think 10 steps ahead here what is important to you okay and what is it that you're prioritizing does it relate to your vision does it relate to your vision does it serve you and number three prioritizing sometimes is painful right it's painful not always the easiest things right many things are not easy to give up but sometimes they are necessary so i know that i could have prioritized well at the time when i started I could have prioritized school, I could have prioritized work, I could have prioritized family. And what we're not gonna do is act as if not prioritizing school, family, work is a wrong thing. She was going to school and I believed going for getting a degree. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it was hard, but I was able to work on this, hang out with my family and do school and get my degree early. I that shit all done now again my timeline i was very i was very persistent and stupid stubborn with that and not everyone could do that and that's okay all i'm saying is do not disregard or start to inch into teaching someone that that's normal behavior to do that for a multi-level marketing company like that no you can do all those things do not act as if school shouldn't be a priority you should especially if you're paying for that shit absolutely it's expensive again she's very successful maybe to an extent because she needs to recruit a lot of people People and she still has to keep that up okay great whatever don't encourage that mentality I could have prioritized time I could have prioritized going out I could have prioritized drinking sometimes right I could have but I realized that those things and sleep exactly right sleep how could I forget I realized that those things though we're not adding to the better version of myself. It wasn't as- So hanging out with your family, getting fucking rest, going to school, which absolutely can benefit your knowledge, everything. I am a prime example of that. How, yes, that does, yes, that would've. Yes, that would've. Working strictly for an MLM and that's it and ignoring anything external from that? Lily, what the hell? Of myself, it wasn't adding to what I wanted in the future for myself here. So I needed to cut some of those things out. And I may be excessive, but I cut out basically all those things, right? How is that motivational? How is that good? No, 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 no. Do not cut your family out. I didn't have to cut my family out of my life to get all the things that I want done and I'm still working on. Don't do that. Don't cut out the things that you're working. No. Hey, now this is a motivational training. Mm -mm. No one should be doing that extreme stuff ever. And it's because I realized that, listen, success comes with a price. Sacrifice is required. And I'm not saying to sacrifice absolutely in everything. But realize that something has to give something has to give right so maybe you're waking up too late maybe you're you maybe you're sleeping in too much maybe you're always always picking up that phone and whenever that friend calls you to go out you're always going out instead of focusing on your business instead of learning here instead of educating yourself here right maybe you're always maybe you're always always just spending time with family and listen family time is important but sometimes you got to lay it down to the family that listen I want to build a better life for you here. I want to build a better life for our family here in the future. Let me, I got to work. I got to work, right? And if family is really family, they'll understand. And if friends are really friends, they'll understand, right? And if your loved ones, especially your loved ones, they will understand too, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriends, whatever it is, right? So when I reprioritize, I shifted, okay? And it may not have been the things that I wanted to, it may not have been the things that I enjoyed. Like I didn't enjoy always, you know, staying home and, and looking at the education. I didn't really enjoy practicing all the time on my, on my accounts, right? I didn't enjoy always hopping on the training calls, you know? I didn't enjoy all that stuff, but listen, what's easy to do is hard to live by, right? Or what's hard to do, I screwed it up a little bit, but yeah, I think it was that. Right, my productivity skyrocketed is what I'm saying. My productivity skyrocketed, results started showing into my business and, and, I, and I realized that I was on the right path here, right? Imagine all the time that you're putting day in and every single day in your life and imagine all that time if you put it in your business, where would you be? 
would you still be at the money that you're making right now? Would you still be at the rank that you are right now? Probably not, right? You, you would maybe the next level from that or this, the next income bracket by now or this or this or this, right? So realize that, realize that, right? Now, the three R's that I want you to realize when you are prioritizing yourself, okay? Three R's here. Number one, what's required? What's required of you? What must you do that nobody can or should do for you? Ask yourself that. And if it's not necessary, eliminate it. Eliminate it, okay? And if it's necessary, but not required of you, give it to somebody else, right? Give it to somebody else, delegate it. Take some of that work off. So now we're hitting a point where I feel like we're trying to teach people to slowly cut out things that are not quote unquote benefiting or supporting the business. And you're creating isolation. You're brainwashing people to think that this is all that they need to focus on and their future and their dreams are on the line for that. And I like, I can't even imagine having people that are on these types of calls who like have a legit belief that this is what they can use to get to where they want to go in life. And it's devastating. And I'm sure so many of them have wasted so many hours, so much money just to possibly get there, but the possibilities are low or they're literally not doing good, but they're still holding on to that dream. And it's just, it's nasty to me how this is being pushed. Off of your shoulders here, right? So maybe, maybe it's like, I don't know, you're, you're time picking up the kids or, or something like that. Maybe you can get a, a hire a nanny for that or something, right? Or hire somebody else for that. Or maybe it's the she is talking way too freely. You maybe you could just hire someone for that. Is that's an everyday thing? Not everyone could just hire someone. Half the people that you prey upon for this opportunity are baroque. They can't afford shit, which is very sad, and that is a problem. And it breaks my heart that people are in that position. But preying on it more because you're pushing like, oh well, you need this opportunity because you know it can give you money if you're broke. This could help. But then pushing them to like do other stuff and oh, just buy, just get a nanny, just do. How is that fucking convenient or easy for most people? Most people can't do that. It's such a privileged statement to be like, well, I mean, just hire someone. What? <laughs> it's the dog, taking the dog out, right? Maybe you can save some of that time for yourself, get, get somebody else to do it, right? Whatever it is, you can give it to somebody else maybe if it's not required of you. And number two, what? Taking the dog out and picking up your children from school, that's a fucking requirement of you, Lily. If you are an owner of a dog, if you are a parent, yeah. That's a require. I'm done. I I know I'm young, but I know damn well that is the responsibility of a parent. And then again, if you're able to get help with that, super sick. But don't just label as well. It's not a requirement of you. Yeah, it is until you can afford to change that. But most people can't afford to change. That. Motivational Monday, my ass. This is dumb. Okay. So leaders should always get outside of your comfort zone. You should always get outside of your comfort zone, but don't forget to stay in your strength zone is what I'm saying, okay? Because a lot of people, they may see their weak points and they just focus on their weak points, but you're forgetting that you're also good at some things here, right? There's also some good parts about you here. There's some strengths of you that only you can do, but you're not focusing solely on those strengths. You're only focusing on your weaknesses. So stay in your strength zone. Are you good at prospecting? Are you good at marketing, right? Are you good at, like, again, I'm only talking to builders here, but also investors. Like, are you good at reading the charts? Are you good at marking the charts or whatever it is, right? Are you, are you good at leading? Are you good at closing? Like, what are you good at? And stay in your strength zone. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should. So I knew for me, I used to be that person that did everything. I was like, oh, I can do this. I can do, I can do it all. It's perfect. But I realized I've only got 24 hours in a day and I'm stretching myself a little bit here. So just because I can do that doesn't mean that I should do that though. So I was the best at marketing. I was the best at this. I was this, 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 this. But then I realized, well, okay, why am I spending all of this time creating <laughs> this picture or this flyer when I could probably pay somebody to do that for me or something, right? Or messaging people, right? I can actually, you can actually pay people to do that for you, right? Take some of that time. You're paying people a cold message. Is that what I'm hearing? You are paying, you're paying people to cold message. You're hiring an assistant to do your cold messages and create your grip. I wanna quit. I'm done. I am fed. I am fed up with every one of these shits. What is wrong with you, Goofy? I'm off of your shoulders. Is what I'm saying. 
And number three, what's the greatest reward here? Okay, so when you start reprioritizing here, you start sacrificing some things here. I don't only want you to look at how the pain of that, I want you to look at the good of it. What, what's the good that's gonna come out of that? What's the greatest satisfaction that's gonna come out of you sacrificing those things? The greatest satisfaction that most people will probably get, sacrificing time with friends and family, not having lots of freedom to do things that they do like, paying extra money for people to do stuff so they can prioritize your damn MLM. I don't think the rewards are gonna be really big by any means. And it's so gross. Like pay attention to how she's really trying to harp on the, don't think of the how hard it is now. Think of like where this could go, where this could go. Statistically, it's not gonna go anywhere. That is an unrealistic dream. It just is. Unless you have stupid amounts of people under you and even that, that is still unstable. You sacrificing those things, what could possibly be happening from that? That's the best for you, right? Do you, do you love family? Do you love sports? Do you love traveling? Whatever it is. So how, think about how some of those things that you are temporarily sacrificing right now, what is in the long run it gonna give you more of, is what I'm saying. It kind of bothers me because some of her arguments are good in a different industry. Yeah, if you want to work on your own legit business, your own company, and you have to make some some of those sacrifices, you could reap insane benefits from it because of some of those sacrifices. Like, again, like I said, I didn't go out a lot. I didn't do much. Like, my first legit going out experience in college was when I was 21. And, like, those were still far few because I was like, eh, I still like my own homebodiness. You know what I mean? But still, like, I get the getting sacrifices thing. This is the wrong industry. You're going to sacrifice 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 and still not get shit saying right is it going to give you more of that family time that you've been missing out is it going to give you well of course more money is it is it going to give you the time to be able to travel more for yourself right is it going to give you the ability to be able to splurge on yourself more right take on that new hobby that you've been dying out to, to do or whatever it is right because i knew Back when I was working, I didn't have the time to do any of the things that I wanted to do. Like none of them. <laughs> because I was so stressed all the time about money. And I was like, I gotta hustle, I gotta hustle, 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 hustle. Right? But listen, put the priorities in action. So yes, it's okay, you prioritize, but now it's time to prioritize and put those into action. If you want to be successful in the long run, you also teach your people to prioritize, right? Because everybody needs a little bit of that. It's not easy, but it's worth it. While others are sleeping, you are working. Day in and every single day out, two and a half years of me doing this business, I can't tell you, people know this, and my team knows this. If you're from my team, you're on this. You know I don't sleep. That's not something to be proud of. This is something I fell into a pit into of feeling guilty for taking breaks. That is, again, shitty hustle culture, okay? You need to be able, in order to make things develop, I literally learned that you need to take breaks to make sure that you can be the best version of you. You need to be able to, yeah, take care of yourself. You need to relax. The second I started prioritizing that, all of a sudden things started getting easier and performing better even because I was on my game. You can make things happen without always having sleepless nights. Like, yeah, you might stay up late to work on a project. I've done that many times, but you need to keep, you need to take care of yourself. Pushing the mentality of not taking care of yourself or not sleeping enough or vice versa, that is one, if some of the people that are on this call have family and other things, that's not gonna make you be able to be like there for them and be a good wife, husband, pair, et cetera. But this, it causes further damage. That's not a good mentality to push. Like, I don't sleep really <laughs> i will be on telegram last scene 7 a.m and then i'm awake at 9 a.m oh, like it's crazy right but hey it's, it's required it's required right and it doesn't matter how high you reach as well because listen wherever you are right now whether it's rock bottom or whether it's here or here or here whatever it is you're you're always going to be showing up you're always going to be le oh shit <laughs> party in the back okay i need to stop no matter how high you get you're still gonna have to go this hard she was even a really high up leader when this was filmed and she's still running with this mentality of always being on always being go 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 how is that normal that is not normal i get working and being a productive person and making things happen like you're going on about time freedom and being able to have more time to do x y and z but you're already saying to us that you don't even have time and you don't even sleep you always are on how is that normal you're contradicting yourself babe this isn't okay by example and you should never just be chilling 
right? You will reach a higher level of success. Pro I promise you, you will, but you shouldn't be laid back from that. You still got some goals to hit. Have you still retired your mom? Have you still retired your dad? Have you still bought your dream house? If, think about that, right? And catch yourself when you start feeling lazy or you start procrastinating, re rethink that for yourself. You may think that you're doing good, okay? But you could do better is what I'm saying. You could do better and you know that for you. Hi, the mentality of nothing is ever good enough is not okay. I used to do that shit with myself and I'm trying very hard to teach myself how I am doing very good. What I am doing is enough. Just because I'm doing good now doesn't mean I have to sit there and berate myself and think I'm, I can still always, always do better, do better. Well, yeah, like I get it. You can improve throughout your life, but having that much pressure on yourself is not healthy. That is not okay. Like again, pressure to an extent is what I like to talk about. Having good, healthy pressure on yourself to be improved Improving or progressing is great, but when you always are like talking down on yourself, you can always do better. You can always shoot bigger. You can all relax. It's okay. I promise. Yourself, you know that. You just gotta face that. Okay, and understand that typically we're in an industry, you guys. That typically, okay, network marketing. I'm talking network marketing. Okay, typically in this industry, it takes a person five years or six years about to become a six-figure earner. Do you understand our rates right now and our success levels right now? Like we pop six figure earners like almost every single week. We just popped the, the youngest one, the youngest one. We have yet to announce her, but she's the youngest in our company. And she did it in, she did it the fastest too. It's crazy what we're in. So if you're only okay with making $500 in a billion dollar industry, you can do better is what I'm saying. There's a billion dollar industry that you are in and you can ask for whatever money it is that you want. It doesn't have to just be $500. It doesn't just have to be a thousand dollars. It doesn't even have to be $10,000 or 50 or hundred. <laughs> the sky is the limit is what I'm saying, right? The sky is the limit. Ask and you shall receive, okay? Ask and you shall receive, but also put in the work to receive that. When you're asking the universe for a lot, you're asking for a lot of money understand that more money equals more responsibility and for every new level there's always another devil i may be morbid in that okay but <laughs> it's true every single level that i've reached to there's always a brand new like devil looking at me like <sighs> like i'm like okay <laughs> this is kind of scary it's like a whole beast but you gotta you gotta tackle it right you gotta tackle it so from that, listen, massive action is what I need from every single one of you, okay? The number of times it matters more than just one action. Don't just depend on one action. Don't believe in the action fairy is what I'm saying, okay? You know the, the tooth fairy? Yeah, oh my God, you lose a tooth and you get like a dollar, <laughs> okay? Like, I swear, it was the biggest regret of my life and the biggest disappointment of my life when I woke up like 2 a.m. one morning and I saw my dad putting like a loony under my pillow. I'm like, oh my God, no. <laughs> I'm like, dad, come on. <laughs> I really believed in this. But what I'm saying is don't believe in the action fairy. Not one action is going to cure it all for you is what I'm saying. So posting once is not going to build you a successful business, right? Putting a trade in once is not going to build you a, a successful portfolio, right? Hopping on a training once is not going to make you an expert. Think about that. It's repeated actions, repeated actions. Scale the actions that you're looking at. One action doesn't build confidence. You know what builds confidence? Repeated actions, right? You're doing something over and over again. You putting in that trade over and over again, it builds confidence, right? You going on that training call and you, you spitting your facts, builds confidence, right? You taking your notes every single time, builds confidence. Does it not? It does. You recruiting once, builds confidence. No, you recruiting multiple times, builds confidence right? You calling your leaders, whatever it is, multiple times builds confidence. Be messy before being perfect. We're girls. We're like, we're like the craziest people when it comes to being perfect. Okay. It's like, oh my God, like I can't go on social media if I don't look like this and this and this and this. And this. Relax for a second. Okay. <laughs> it is okay to show your authentic self. Be willing to be messy before being absolutely perfect. People want to see that of you right? Fail, fail. It's okay to fail and show some of that failure. Okay. It shows that you're human. It shows that you're human, right? 
So that being said, that is my training. Okay, and we're done with that. All right, let's stop that there. Moral of the story. Some of the advice is decent, but again, for the wrong industry. But the biggest thing that I noticed was the brainwashing. The continuous brainwashing of give up things, give up things. You need to be pushing this. You need to be always doing this and X, Y, and Z. That is not a good mentality to have. And also when we have the contrast of the first audio for yelling at people. That's not a very good look for you, babe. So we're going to stop that there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.